How's it going everyone? My name is Lawrence from Expressed Unity and today I decided that I'd start a new uh, video tutorial series. Basically I'll be showing you guys the basics of setting up a networked game using Photon and then we'll be using uh, Playfab for user account creation and login in. So I have no idea what kind of game we'll be making. At first I guess we'll just be attempting to just make the login system and then we'll just get like some cubes moving around and whatnot. So um yeah the first thing you're gonna wanna do is um actually the first thing you probably want to do is uh install Photon. So just go type in Photon in the Unity Asset Store and then you get a free 20 concurrent users uh, with just a, the free edition. So I've already got this downloaded, so I'm just go ahead and import this. Uh, we don't want the demo scenes. Um, you can import them if you want, if you want to just take a look at how everything works. But um, yeah. So yeah, real quick as well. You're gonna want to generate so in the Photon website. Let me just let me just bring it up for you. I should have been more prepared. Okay, so uh, when you first install Photon, you'll get this uh, set up, and this is what you need to log into the actual website for. Um, so <clears throat> once I can log in, okay, there we go. All right, so once I'm in the Photon dashboard here, I want to create a new app. You want to change it to Photon Pun. The application name, uh, YouTube, I guess. And we can just click Create. Give that a second to work. Alright. Um, Here it is. So if you click on manage, and then you've got an app ID up here. If you click on that and just copy it, go back to Unity, and then uh, paste your app ID in here and set up the project. In the right hand corner, you have a few options. Hosting, just leave it on uh, cloud hosting, so Photon does all the hosting. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm going to end up doing is just setting it to my country, which is in this case Australia. Um, you can do best region and you can also uh, code it so that um, you can basically allow the players to select their own region. Um, so yeah, basically that's it. Uh, Photon is now set up. Now we want to install, uh, where is it, uh, Playfab. So if we go to uh, the SDKs slash Unity uh, uh, link for Playfab, you want to download the editor extension. So uh, it'll be a Unity package. You just want to click on that with your project open and then just import everything. Alrighty. So Basically, this you can either create an account from inside the uh, extension or you just click the little login button here. And then this is all the information to log in. So I'm just gonna drag this over to my second monitor while I fill in the details. All right, so once you are logged in, You'll be you'll be brought up with a now SDK is installed. All you want to do is click install Playfab SDK, and the editor extension will do it all for you. All right. 
Alrighty. So <clears throat> now um, it says here before making uh, PlayFab API calls, the SDK must be configured to your PlayFab title. So if you click on set my title, um, by default it'll have all this, um, but uh, when you're logged in, you can just click the drop down, uh, select the company that you uh, created, and then select uh, your title ID. So in this case, it'll be YouTube tutorial. And um, that should be it. So basically, you've now set up PlayFab and you can now uh, use it. So we probably don't even need that PlayFab tab anymore. And we can get started with uh, just a little bit of a basic uh, introduction to logging in. So I'm going to create a new folder and new folder. I'm going to call it scripts and I'm going to create a new C sharp script called playfab both. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to want a few things in the scene. We're going to want to create a new canvas with uh, three input fields. So for now, it doesn't have to be anything special. I'm just going to drop these in and we can make it look all pretty and nice later on. So the scale of the canvas, I'm just going to make um, my monitor size. You can you can do it any way you want. Um, all right, so gonna make the text of the input field a bit bigger. So placeholder, let's just center it. Make the font size a twenty, maybe a twenty-five, and same for the normal text, twenty-five, and center it. So this first one, um, we'll call username. And we can put that in the placeholder text as well. Username. So now we just copy and paste that three times. The second one uh, will be called password. And then we also want to choose, uh, what is it? Uh, content type from standard to password. And then the last one, <clears throat> we want to call it email. All right. So the username goes on top, password in the middle, and email can uh, be at the bottom. Um, this is just how I'm ordering it. You can order it any way you like. So let's just quickly edit the placeholder text. And all, all, yeah, all this UI stuff is completely up to you. Um, alrighty. And then we need a button. So just get a UI button and doesn't need to be anything special. Uh, we'll just say login slash register. <clears throat> okay. So now uh, let's open up our PlayFab script. PlayFab auth script, sorry. Okay, so first thing we want to be using is the default playfab, and then we want to be using playfab.clientmodels. All right, so let's create a new function. Uh, let's call it um, public void login, and then we'll be using the playfab client API. And then we will want to be logging in with, let me see if I can remember it, um, uh, with PlayFab. And then this uh, takes in a login with PlayFab request. So let's create a new one. So login with PlayFab request. We'll just call this login request. And then this is where all your details go. So if we look at uh, the functions uh, inside of this, we have the password, the username, and 
the email. Oh no, that's right. Uh, so when you log in, uh, it'll only ask you for a username and password. And when we get to registration, it'll have an email field there. All right. So <clears throat> now we're going to want to have our input fields. So let's do using unity engine dot UI. And we want to do public input field. This can be user public input field pass public input field email and then what we can do here is plugin, plugin request dot user equals user dot text and then login request dot password equals uh, password dot text or pass dot text uh, something else we need to do is login request equal to a new login request like so. Um, so now we can pass the login request and then this is the result callback. So we'll just do a really simple thing. We'll just call it result. Like so the next one is the error callback. Um, oops. And for now, we'll leave this parameter as null. So just to make this a bit more readable, I'm going to enter down uh, where the brackets are, like so. So this will happen if the account is found. And this will happen if the account is not found. So let's create a new public boolean on top of the login request, public bool. Um, and then we can say uh, is authenticated. I think that's how you spell it. Alrighty. <clears throat> so if it's logged in, we want to do is authenticated equal to true. Uh, but if it's not logged in, is authenticated equals to false. Alrighty. So, underneath this, oh, actually, we can test this out real quick. Um, let's do debug.log. And we can do something like uh, result. Dot, does this have. No, this one doesn't have a log. So, we can just say. You are now logged in. However, for this one, this has an error, so we can do dot log, and then we can say error dot uh, error details. Alrighty. So let's create a new empty game object. Once the script compiles, new empty game object, position it to zero zero zero. Drag it up the top, and let's call this Playfab Manager. So anything related to Playfab, we're going to chuck the scripts in this game object. Alrighty, so we want to throw our input fields in their in their uh, designated areas, and we can basically test this out now. So if we do username something that isn't there. Um, I don't think anything's here at the moment, so we can do something random. And we haven't set up the email field yet, so we can just ignore that. Um, so we can, oh, my bad. Um, the button, uh, we want to add a new on click event, drag the PlayFab Manager into that. And then we want to fire the login function. So try this again, test one. Test one, two, three, four, five, and then try to make this console a bit bigger and log in. Uh, no, okay. Well, that's uh, the um, the error field. I thought it was going to give a bit more constructive error than that. It usually says if it's like a maybe it's this one. It'll usually say if it's like a wrong username or password. Uh, 
let's see what it does with this one. There we go. Okay. So, uh, error dot error message is what we want. And then, yeah, user not found. So, because user wasn't found, it hasn't authenticated. So, yeah, uh, this is episode one of setting a multiplayer game up with Playfab and Photon. And I'll see you guys in the next video.